Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to apply noise texture to your artwork. Here I have already made an artwork in my IBS Paintex app and here at the top I am going to add the noise texture. You can see there is no texture right now and it is full clear solid colors and there is no texture. And you can see there are so many layers that I used to create this to add texture, noise texture to the artwork. At the top of all the layers, I'm going to create new layer and apply the color. Here, to apply color, make sure you use the current layer option in the bucket tool. Okay. If you use canvas option, here you can see. It will consider all the layers where you are applying color and it will not fill completely. So make sure you use current layer as a reference in the bucket tool. Now go to filter being on the same layer and go to artistic and click on the noise. Once you click that you can see there is a texture applied on that color that you have applied. and just keep these two parameters a uh, full value and by changing the blending mode of this you can find some variation in the color of the texture like if you go for lighter light and blending modes it will be lighter and if you go for contrast it will be according like mixture of different textures and once you've done all this thing here by changing the blending mode of the layer it acts differently like my most preferred blending mode is overlay or soft light so when it is in hard light it looks like this then you can try something in the dark and blending modes it will be still more darker color and when it comes to light and blending modes it will be light and color and whatever the blending mode you can adjust the opacity of the layer and it will show something good with some texture dot grain textured and I recommend you to use soft light blending mode here as I used hard light blending mode on that filter it have uh, different colors like blue pink red on that texture but if you want a mono colored grains then you have to try different blending modes in that filter instead of changing here now here i'm just deleting that layer clearing it and now again i'm going to apply the texture now uh, apply the noise filter but this time i'm going to apply overlay blending mode while filling this filter so as i told before it acts differently for different blending modes of the filter so i'm keeping it in overlay blending mode so that you don't have any other color other than pink or the color you used on that layer now go back to the layer blending modes and change it to soft light here you can see now the green textures only have the color you applied and uh, giving some beautiful texture to your artwork so yeah this is how you can apply noise texture to your artwork which is uh, you know it's going to enhance the art appearance like when it is a uh, uh, book illustration children's book illustration or something comic whatever it may be adding some texture gives an extra um, details to your artwork so try this noise filter you will not regret using this so yeah thank you for watching bye